Hello everyone, my name is Rumat and today I will present you the best Lia summoner spells, runes and builds for mid, jungle, bot and support. This will be a new series and I intend to do it for as many champions as I can, just focusing on these three things that we talked about. On this channel you will see this kind of videos and at least a Lia gameplay video every week starting tomorrow. Here will be a too long didn't watch cheat sheet for this video right on the screen. And let's jump straight into summoner spells for every of the four roles. Now, you can play Talia, as I said, on mid, on jungle, on bot, and on support. Now, on mid and on support, you'd probably want to play generally with flash ignite. You want flash in every case, and in jungle, you're probably going to play with flash smite, okay? So this is for jungle mandatory. For mid, mainly, you're going to play with flash ignite and for support as well, because you need the extra damage and... Uh, you can actually do a lot more in most matchups with this, in ganks it's useful and such. Now on bottom you should generally play with heal or barrier if you have a defensive support maybe, but you should play with heal because most of the time your support will have ignite and so you will can be able to combine those summoner spells instead of going ignite there as well. So on mid lane you can also go for defensive summoner spells such as exhaust such as heal and such as barrier, even cleanse in some matchups. Also on support you can go for barrier, cleanse, exhaust, but generally you should go for ignite in these roles. You should actually not pick Talia in general matchups. If you want to pick Talia, you shouldn't pick it against Katarina, you shouldn't pick it against Zed, so you should generally pick ignite against the rest of the matchups. But if you are forced against these matchups, you should go for exhaust, for Zed example, for Katarina example, their ults obviously you should go for barrier and stuff like that if to play to be more defensive in those assassin matchups as i said on bot you go for heal you can pick on support either exhaust ignite and on jungle you go for smite okay so this is the quick what summoner spells to pick for every role we're going to jump straight into runes now if you have questions about those summoner spells ask me in the comments now let's see for every role, this makes me deaf, this sound, let me just, okay. For every role, let's see now what runes can we pick and how we create the rune page so that we maximize Talia's potential for mid, for jungle, for bot and for support. Now I'm going to argue that in most cases you will go for Dark Harvest as in most lanes ex except mid. Well, why I say that? You go Dark Harvest in bot generally and support because you're going to have lots of trades and lots of fights to stack up the Dark Harvest. You shouldn't fight when Dark Harvest is, uh, is on cooldown. So let's go for an example rune page for bottom, right? You should never go for Dark Harvest in mid and jungle when you expect that you're not going to fight that much. So you should go for Electrocute if you know that there aren't going to be as many trades on mid, on jungle or even on bot. So, whenever you pick your main rune, Dark Harvest or Electrocute, think if you are going to have lots of fights, lots of trades to stack up the Dark Harvest or not. Because if you get to the late game and you have one or two Dark Harvest stacks, you're going to be considerably more weaker than having Electrocute. And also, Electrocute does not put that pressure of stacking up the rune on you. Also, Dark Harvest has a reprocable scenario, which in multiple people fights is actually need it but electrocute for mid lane for example when you one versus one the target you'd want to have it on a fixed cooldown so you know when to proc it again and to not proc dark harvest and then for lots of seconds to have no rune right so this is your main choice these are your two main rune choices on mid lane dark harvest and electrocute i've seen people play with face rush as well i've seen people play with glacial augment as well but the main two runes, the strongest ones, I'd say I is Dark Harvest and Electrocute. Face Rush is a defensive rune which might help you against Assassin matchups so that you can escape easier and so that you can reposition yourself. We're going to discuss maybe a Face Rush scenario as well and the GLP scenario, I don't really want to discuss that since I believe the other runes are fairly more strong and if you pick the, G uh, the Glacial Augment rune, you should play it with GLP every time, right? So if you pick Glacial Augment, play with Twin Shadows, play with GLP. I'm not going to discuss that rune choice because I'd rather have the other three and the other three are more strong for beginners and such and I, it, they offer much more damage or utility. So let's start with the first 
let's start with the first room page you, st you go for dark harvest let's say you're on bot on jungle or on uh, support basically you play with dark harvest you'd want cheap shot because of the e damage you'd want eyeball collection because you want to fight a lot and stack it up and you want ravenous hunter generally because of the amazing amazing heal that you get into the mid to late game i don't want to talk about other options because really these are the best in slot here maybe on bot you could go for taste of blood if you feel like you're about to get poked to hell but really these are the best options now for secondary for secondary you have options okay you have a lot of options and the the main build page this part of the ruins should generally be either electrocute and dark harvest but the same cheap shot eyeball collection even a center of taste of blood eyeball collection even a center right so either one of these two and then these three right this is your first option and this is the first thing that you should try so let's just say you go for dark harvest and let's see what secondary rune options we have when we go domination tree first okay so you get three choices you get precision you get sorcery and you get inspiration right so for precision the best options are presence of mind and cup the grace why i say that because presence of mind gives you unlimited mana and massive amounts of mana this is your first choice so these two not first choice as in this is the first idea right we're going to pick one your second idea is going to be secondary with either nimbus cloak or a mana flow band based on need so if you need some movement speed while using exhausting night to reposition yourself or if you feel that you need mana you can go for example mana flow band and transcendence now i think transcendence is best in slot in this so you have always you have to take as you if you pick a precision you go for cup the grace always if you pick sorcery you go for transcendence always and one more rune i generally go for mana flow band if i go sorcery because i really like the stacking mana and the mana every five seconds that you get from this now, your third option is this Biscuit Delivery and Time Warp Tonic. Time Warp Tonic is a must here on this tree, but you can swap with Mania Materializer for better push on mid lane or on bot. Now, let's just see the difference between these three secondaries, because they make they make a lot of differences in the game, right? In most Assassin matchups, in most difficult matchups, in most matchups that you feel that you're about to get ganked and you need to survive, I recommend to go for Time Warp Tonic and Biscuits. If you play with potions, if you play with corrupting, your time or tonic will proc every time. But if you don't, get a potion on every recall so that you make use of time or tonic. Now, if you're on mid and you feel that you're not about to die so much, but you're still a bit scared, you can go for minion dematerializer to have better push power, right? And on bot as well. On bot, if you want to win the fights, the two versus two fights are the most important part. And if you hit W and you feel that you're sometimes not going to have enough damage to instantly burst someone and you want to survive the follow-up damage from them, you could go for this. Now this should be your main choice if you're a beginner, for bot lane for example, or for mid lane. This is for mid lane. And I'm going to show you, if you're not a beginner, some secondary choices, the other two options. Either mana flow band and transcendence, or, or persons of mind and have the grace. Now I believe the second the sorcery this one option is this option with transcendence is much better strictly because of transcendence and 10 percent cooldown reduction is is a lot for free it's at level 10 it's a lot for free and mana flow band actually gets enabled way faster than precision because you're while you have in mid to late game a lot of more mana this might not come handy every time but this is you take this for granted right because you're going to stack it on lane regardless so this 250 mana you're going to get regardless and one percent missing mana every five seconds but this presence of mind offer you offers you unlimited mana but you'll not really take it for granted right you cannot have it guaranteed every fight the other one you have so um, if you feel that you're an advanced to player i'd say go for this if you feel like you're not beginner, not advanced to a player, I should say, try sorcery, but in general, in assassin matchups, whether, regardless of your level, you should probably try Time or Tony and Biscuit Delivery, especially if you're against a Zed, a Katarina, a Diana, a Fizz, an Ahri, a Syndra, those are burst matchups, right? Even those champions can burst you to bits and you're going to die instantly when they hit their CC spell, right? Even if you play with clans, by the way. Cleanse is also an option on mid lane against Zoe, against uh, Syndra, against Ahri, against champions like that. Not against Assassins, mostly because Zed, you cannot really cleanse much of him. You cannot cleanse anymore his ult. You can just Mercurial as far as I'm QSS. Maybe I don't even QSS it. I don't know. I don't remember. Anyway, uh, so these are your choices for runes. I want to talk a little about 
these three, so you go for Face Rush, you go for Mana Flow Band, you go for Transcendence, and you go for Scorch, Water Walking, or Gathering Storm based on needs. If you feel like you're going to roam a lot, Water Walking is a good choice because you're probably going to walk on the river. If you feel like the game is going to late game but you don't kind of want that, you're probably going for Scorch in this scenario. You're going to choose between Water Walking and Scorch, I choose Scorch. And then we have the same, the same strategies right you now have mana flow and transcendence but you can pick either presence of mind and cup the grace you can pick either biscuit deliver time warp tonic or even in the domination tree you can go for cheap shot and ravenous hunter so there are options right you have lots of options for runes and i think i'm going i'm already over 10 minutes so i'm going to start with the builds because i don't want to make these videos boring guys i want to make them relevant relatively quick entertaining so you get the point of the video without spending hours and hours of listening to me because i know it can get boring and i want to sell this product to you so that you learn something from it right i want you to get the point of these videos and not to be showered with tons of information without any point now i'm going for i'm going for this i'm going to close this let's just see the items builds for every single role now now there are variations right generally you'd want to have this uh basic thing generally you'd want to buy at least two or three discs of this per game so vision words and this trinket if you, your team does not have at least two red trinkets you are you, you are ought to buy the second oracle lens in your team so you have to clear vision so you have to clear you have to kill people right so you have the w eco combo from the dark you can you can buy this now this is these are prerequisites right this is mandatory every single game i see games in silver or bronze that have five of wording trinkets and none of oracle lens this is a major no-no for any elo right so go for this now i'm going to get them out you know you got the point let's talk individually now let's see what items we go for mid for support for adc and for jungle now in jungle it's pretty obvious that you go for the jungle item you go for the ap jungle item and you'd want well i don't know how to select it but you get the point <laughs> you want the blue one generally because it offers a slow i'm starting with jungle by the way you want after that after you finish the ap jungle item because i i'm too dumb to find it it's somewhere here probably wait let me see if i can find it. yeah no i don't see it because i'm probably or it's not here or it's not here whatever 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 so you have to start with ap jungle item you have to go for sorg shoes you switch to red trinket every time when you're a jungle here so i'm just gonna put it right here uh, i am very slow with this i'll give you that and then you're going to want to move towards other items and in general on mid on bot and on support you can replace this item to have the slow that you get on the blue smite with glp or you can go for the ludens basically for the jungle you kind of get both of the best words you get these items such as the ludens and also the slow from the smite on mid lane you can buy either ludens or glp on the other lanes but on jungle you have to generally start with these two items and then you'd want to move towards orb you'd want to upgrade it into morello right you'd want to make morello after that so if and only if the enemy team comp has at least three conqueror users they have yumi vlad champions that self heal a lot champions that are annoying champions that they heal too much so you upgrade it only in those scenarios it's not necessarily in rest because you get the magic pen already from the orb so i'm gonna cut this because we consider that it's not a scenario when you mandatory need it but in this meta there's a lot of heals so soraka sona vladimir conqueror users lots of them atrox lots and lots of heals you gotta pick morello you're mandatory you're, you're obliged to buy it right after this item i generally want to pick a stopwatch which i don't see because it's not here right i can i can do this you'd want a stopwatch why because Tilia is a cartus basically in jungle that's about to get focused very quickly and if you miss your w you're about to die it's very important if you get that stopwatch and no one focuses you good you don't necessarily have to upgrade it into zonia only if you feel that you're about to be extremely focused and now i'm not going to put zonia here and now we have other options we have one two three four items you can go for lyandris here or you can go for rabadons or you can go for both or even void stuff somewhere there one two three four five six 
without the stopwatch you sell the stopwatch if you don't feel like you need it or you upgrade it into zonia and you cut one of these items so you don't get void stuff anymore so this could be an optional one two three four five six items this one gets upgraded at last to morello right because you don't need morello faster than that but generally i cut this i usually uh go straight for this building jungle uh sorry like this if i'm fed or even faster, so the Rabadons enables lots of bursts, but if you feel that they are stacking up magic resist, you can go for Lyandris faster, you can go for Rabadons faster, and if you feel that you're focused, you can go for Zonia somewhere there. So, even voice stuff, right? Even voice stuff, but do not pick Relies, please, because I believe that's a quite bad item, and in jungle you have to focus on other people's stun or on your own smite to hit your WQ combo. In mid lane, and we're going to talk right now about it, in mid lane, you're going to want to start the game with Doran's Ring and two potions. You'd want to, uh, if you have Time Warp Tonic, those potions are extremely useful. If not, some people play with Corrupting Potion. I don't really like it. I play with this for survival because most matchups are about survival. And after that, you'd want to start with these items. You'd want to have, uh, by the way, this for mid, for bot, for support. For support, you get the support item first instead of this. And you talk about the support item instead of the ring, right? But on mid and bot, let's just talk about the rest right now. You go, you go generally for lost chapter as fast as you can, and then you go for sork shoes. Well, we go for boots. Let me just put it first here, right? So ring, boots, uh, tome. You can upgrade to GLP now because it's pretty cheap. So I'm going to put the GLP here. And after that, only after that you can get the Sorg Shoes because I believe GLP needs to get the, be bought as fast as you can because, because this item enables you. If you don't go for GLP, you can go for Ludens. And I don't see Ludens because I'm fairly blind. Is it even here, guys? Do you see it? Whatever. I'm going to search it in all items. Yep, here. So your main option on bot, on support, on mid, as first item is either Ludens or GLP. And after that, after you made that choice, you start to go towards the other jungle route. So you can write here orb, you put the orb, you get Morelos if necessary, if not, either... Uh, I need to clear it again. How do you find... Okay. You go for either Rabadons or Lyandris. And then Zonia somewhere in between. If I were to tell you exactly how I play, I get Orb, I get a stopwatch, okay, after Orb, and then I generally go for this item. So one, two, stopwatch, uh, Orb, stopwatch, Rabadons, Zonia, and Lyandris. This is an optimal build. So one, two, three, four, five, six items is fine. You can also upgrade this into Morelos. And the last thing that I want to talk in this video about because this is the build right uh, also again don't forget don't forget to buy lots and lots of vision words so let me just put <laughs> as an example lots and lots of vision word every two recalls at least get the vision because they are useful don't forget red trinket i am typing like jesus what's wrong with it okay so yeah, right. You got the rules from the beginning. Get this only if you have, if you don't have at least two of them in your team. And also, you can keep the word in trinket if you have to. But you'd want vision words as much as you can because Tulia is about roaming and about map control, about terrain control, about the full combo from an unwarded spot. And now let's just talk the final talk about GLP versus Ludens, because lots of people ask about that on the channel. So let's see, let's put Ludens right here to have this opened up. Now, for your first item in the jungle, you're generally going to have something like a combination of those because the jungle item is basically a Ludens and the blue smite offers you a slow. That's basically the slow from GLP, but way worse. On mid, you can have, or on bot or on support, you can have the GLP active to enable a permanent WQ combo on someone. So you just roam up to them, GLP, WQ combo, instant kill if you have ignite or if they flash well that's flash down or if you have a team that can set you up generally maybe it would be better to pick ludens echo because this also helps on farm but this is way more expensive 
So as a noob trap, do not go for Ludens, go for GLP, if you are a beginner, if you are intermediate. I believe Ludens is actually strong only for the best of players when there are lots of CC in the enemy team. I was an avid Ludens player and generally I was relying on my jungler's gang CC, on my support engage CC to actually hit my combo or on the surprise WQ combo that you can do from when you're out of vision, right? But generally you should pick GLP because it's way more simple and Ludens is kind of a noob trap. GLP is the way to go to practice it in the practice to try to understand it and then go for the builds that I talked about. So these are the builds for Talia. I really hope you enjoyed it and this is... I really hope this video was not long for you. And see you next time guys and I really hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye guys.